And we're back to learning Photoshop in the year day 186. Let me show you how to create a Zapier filter. I think the easiest way is just to sample a color. For example, here for my Google search, just type in Zapier photo. Let's just say we like this one. Drag it over here and then I drag my Photoshop window to the right. I activate the eyedropper tool and I left click on my Photoshop window, move to the left outside of the image and you can see the color swatch changes to the color that I've sampled. Let me sample to a brighter one and a darker one. I confirm. Let's get back to Photoshop. I press Ctrl zero to center my image. And now on the swatches, we have these two colors. Sort of bright, what is it, like a beige color. And then this dark brown. Open a solid color adjustment layer. You can sample the color directly here for my swatches. I'll start with the brighter one. Confirm and then switch to blending mode right here. Usually color gives you the best results for the CPI effect. And then you can adjust your opacity to make that even lighter. So it's zero. You're not going to see any effect and then you can go gradually up. If you want to change the color, double click here on the swatch. Let me give you the darker one. That has too much of a red tone, I would say. But the bright one works well here. So once again, just simple A color. I think that's the easiest way to do it. And then use the solid color adjustment layer. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.